few announcements. Teen group is meeting uh, June 15th. There's a note in the bulletin. Everybody asked me, oh my gosh, did I miss it? No, this is advertisement. <laughs> next Sunday is uh, Hawaiian Shirt Day. We'll have a hot dog cookout outside. And uh, so next Sunday is Hawaiian Shirt Day. Wear a Hawaiian shirt. Or uh, in the bulletin says frock. I'm not sure what a frock is. Uh, is it a dress? Thank you. Uh, uh, I've heard of moo-moos. I'm not sure what that means. Lucy says, don't ever get me a moo-moo because I'm not a cow. Something like that. But that's next Sunday. Uh, baptisms, we'll be baptizing here on Thursday night. If you haven't signed up for that, if you're still interested in that, uh, let me know or call the office and uh, we'll be here on Thursday night at 7 p.m. to baptize anybody who wants to be baptized. Next Saturday is uh, Calvary Work Day here at our church from just 9 to 11, just two short hours for uh, ladies and gents. We'll be inside and outside the building, just, just a lot of things to do to tidy up the place. We've talked about VBS coming. We also have an outreach event for our community. We call it the Calvary Carnival, and I'm going to ask if uh, Anil George will come up and give us an announcement about that. Anil? Let's welcome him. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that's loud. Um, thank you for this opportunity. I just want to share uh, a couple moments, and I'm going to share just a story uh, before I get started with this. Um, I was listening on the radio some time back, and this young woman called in uh, very tearfully saying, a year before that event, uh, she was a telemarketer, and she was calling all these people. Most people would hang up and get angry at her, and they would give her not even two seconds. But she called this guy, he listened to her, and he said at the end politely, I'm not interested, but I want you to know that Jesus loves you. She hangs up the phone in her cubicle, and she just starts crying uncontrollably, weeping. In a series of events over a year, she gets saved. And she's calling the radio station a year later saying, I wish I could talk to that guy. And all he said to me was, I want you to know that Jesus loves you. And she got saved because of that. And to me, that story has been so powerful. I heard it years ago, and I can't stop thinking about it because it shows me the power in Jesus' name. The Bible says that the name of Jesus, demons will flee. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess. So he's powerful. We, we are in this salvation that sometimes we don't realize how powerful he is because literally the hurricane is around us. We are in the quiet, but, but Jesus is powerful. And I say all that because we have an opportunity here uh, with a Calvary Carnival to go out and to evangelize, to love on people. It's hard sometimes to go out and, and do um, ministry work and go out and do some type of uh, a missions trip, but we can do one right here in the front yard of our property. We've done it, uh, the last time was five years ago with the pandemic and things, things have been uh, quiet, but we've fed over 700 people. We've seen people come to Christ, we've seen people come to church, we've seen kids come to Awana and VBS and Sunday school. So we've been able to love on them. We've been able to share the gospel and have fun with them. And so we would ask you, because we need you, um, in three aspects. One is time. We would ask you to pray, because none of this matters. It's not about the food or the games or anything else. It's about what Jesus is going to do on these people's lives and in our lives. So would you please, from now until August 10th, just get on your knees whenever you think about it. Just pray and ask God to start to move in the hearts of people, to bring the people who we need. And we obviously need a lot of help. So the second thing is we need your talents. We need you to volunteer. And you don't need to have any talents. Just show up and let God do the work. You know, whether it's setting up, breaking down, whatever it is, we need your help. No skills are necessary. Remember, it's not about us. It's about him. God wants us to know, that will we show up? Then he's going to do the rest. Um, and I think on top of that, what I noticed when we did this is our church came together, brothers and sisters came together, we went out and we did prayer walks. Me personally, I'm not like Pastor Ken, I can't go five days a week to Wegmans and start sharing the gospel. I'm terrified about it. But, <laughs> uh, but when I was doing the prayer walks, I could go out and hand a flyer to somebody and say, hey, we're doing something free, we're going to feed you, we're going to have fun, bring your kids. And then I can say, hey, can I pray for you? And we've prayed for so many people just here in our neighborhood. So it's a real opportunity to just share God's love. And the final thing I would say is that we need your treasure. We need you to really ask God what you could do in terms financially. Every single time we've done this carnival, God has provided fully without a single drop of money coming from our church. People have donated very generously. And as you know, the food costs have gone up. And I'm just going to give you an example of how great God is and what he's already doing. 
So one of the companies we called for catering food said to feed over 750, it would be uh, over $5,200, just the food. As I was walking to uh, Panera Bread to meet Stephen and um, Kevin to have a meeting, one of the catering guys told me that he got called from one of his vendors and he's able to give us over a $3,000 discount off that price. So yeah, so God is starting to move before we've even started. So I would ask you guys to pray to be able to contribute and to do all these things. And I'm gonna finally show a video here. Um, so August 10th is the date, mark your calendars. There's gonna be a sign up booth. There's gonna be a couple of us out in the entryway. So please stop by, ask questions, sign up, and we look forward to what God's doing.